Okay, so if like myself, you're a hybrid worker, whereby some days you work from the office and some days you work from home, then having a great quality speaker to have all of your meetings is quite important. This is where this comes in. This is the Biodynamic Space Max. It's a brand new speakerphone that I'm going to be testing out. It was sent to me by Biodynamic and you can see I have two of them. Let's go ahead and start off with the unboxing and see how these sound and hopefully showcase to you guys how this is going to be the perfect choice for you. So let's get into it. Now, just before we dive into this, I just wanted to mention that they are a very eco-friendly company. So there is no plastics. This is eco-friendly cardboard. And then you also have here on the top, brief information thanking you for your purchase. Right there, front and center, you have yourself the speakerphone. And we'll dive into the design shortly, but this is a very high quality premium design. And then just on the left, you have yourself the USB-C to USB-C cable. Inside this little packet, you have a USB-C to USB-A adapter in case you have a USB-A port on your laptop. And then underneath, you have yourself this nice carry case if you want to take the speaker with you, maybe in your backpack on your way to the office. And then just underneath that, you have yourself the user manual. So plenty of information to understand how everything works and get you up and running very quickly. These two boxes are optional accessories that are sold separately. So the first small box, you have yourself the information about the WL adapter. You take out the cardboard. This is another wireless dongle that you can use to connect to not just the Space Max, but also any of the other biodynamic devices. So whether that's the speakerphone or the headset, you connect this up and it will detect everything by Bluetooth so you can have the wireless experience. And in the last box, you have yourself what is called a cascading cable. Once you do connect both speakers with a cascading cable, this would allow you to basically use this in a room of up to 12 people so that you can pick up the audio from all different directions from a very large room. These come in two colors, a lighter Nordic gray and the one I have here in charcoal. And you can see there's a few buttons here. These are not pressable buttons. These are more touch capacitive buttons. So you just need to tap them to enable each of these functions. So let's talk about what they are. So you have the volume buttons just there at the bottom. You have the answer call and end calls just to the sides there. You have the mute button, Bluetooth pairing, and then you can check the battery level, which will give this LED ring around each of these options a light to showcase how much battery percentage is left. This button here with the biodynamic logo is a multi-function button, and you can use this much like other wireless Bluetooth speakers that you use for your music to control various different things. So you can single tap to play and pause music, double tap to go to the next track, triple tap to go to the previous track. And if you hold this down for a couple of seconds, then this can enable voice assistant, whether that's Google Assistant or Siri. Along the bottom, you have yourself this nice biodynamic logo just there. And then just on the other side, you have yourself a Kensington lock. So if you wanna prevent this from being taken from meeting rooms, you have that option. This is the 3.5 millimeter cascading cable connection there. This is where you can connect your cable to your laptop via the USB-C port to power it on and use it via the wired option. Now this option here says power out. This is a really convenient thing as well. So you can actually reverse charge your phones and other devices via the USB-C port here and essentially use this as a power bank. So this is like a whole multi-purpose setup here. Then you have your on off button there. Now you have speakers and microphones all around. You can see they just show up in a 360 degree design. You can essentially use this from basically any different angle. And then right at the bottom, you have yourself your slot where you can put the USB dongle. And then there's also a quarter 20 inch thread. So if you wanted to mount this on a tripod, for example, you have that option as well. So very nice, clean design. So let's go ahead and set this up with my laptop and we'll test out the speaker, the microphone and the cascading. Okay, so now I have this connected via the USB-C cable. You can see an LED ring showcasing that this is on. If you ever wanted to use this with its wireless capability via Bluetooth, then you can actually check the battery level by just pressing the battery icon there. And you can see it lights up green, telling you how much of the entire circle this gives you a full battery. And in terms of the battery life, this actually does have a runtime of 25 hours, which is a great amount of time to run off of a single full battery if you do want to use this with its wireless function. So let's go ahead and connect it via Bluetooth. So I will disconnect it from the USB cable. You get a confirmation every time you do connect and disconnect the cable, which is quite nice. So the first thing I'll need to do is turn this on. 
battery 80%. And it gives you audio confirmation that the battery is 80%. So to go into pairing mode, you just hold down that Bluetooth button for a few seconds. Pairing. And you can see it flashes red and blue. So now it's in pairing mode. And when you head over to your laptop, you can then connect it via Bluetooth and it shows up very easily as Space Max. So I will select connect. Pairing successful. Your device is connected. And you got the audio confirmation to confirm that. So now let's jump into the test of the speaker itself. How great is the audio that comes from this as a standalone speaker? So the first test I'm going to do is just play some music and then maybe try the multifunction button to pause and play the music directly from the device itself. And then we'll jump into a meeting call to see how it sounds when people are speaking back to you and how clear that sounds directly from the Space Max. So I'm going to play this song and my microphone is attached to my shirt here. So I'm very close to this and you guys should be able to hear quite clearly how rich the sound is, how clear it is, how crisp it is. And even if there's some bass in there as well. So let's go ahead and test that out. And in fact, I'll control the volume directly from here as well. You'll see the volume control is also signified by the ring lights. So I just paused it with the multifunction button. So one thing I also want to show is if I do twist this around 360, you will be able to hear the audio exactly the same from any direction. So that is a very good option as well. So no matter where you place it down, you don't have to always try to find the bottom part and the top part or anything like that. You just place it however you like and you'll be comfortable knowing that your audio, whether that's from the speaker or your microphone, is going to be as clear as possible. So let's go ahead and continue playing it and I'll twist the speaker around. Now I just wanted to say, this is actually one of the nicest sounding speakers and probably the best sounding speaker from a speakerphone that is made for taking calls and hybrid remote working. I feel like there's quite a bit of bass in there as well because I, I can actually feel the vibrations whilst I was holding this in my hand and that quality, it's even better than a lot of the just general Bluetooth speakers that are made for music that I've tried in the past, which is quite nice to see. So now I'm going to open up a recording of a Zoom meeting and showcase that if I do use this to take calls, how clear the audio is from hearing everyone else. But obviously that is dependent on the quality of the microphones of the people speaking. But this is just an example to showcase how clear it would be if you are going to try and hear dialogue. So let's go ahead and listen to one of those now. We, need, we have a goal of at least three customer interviews per PM. There's an OKR issue out there. If you haven't updated it lately, please do so. And uh, remember, we have three weeks until Q2 to hit our goal. So please, uh, please do invest the time to get those set up and get at least three done if you haven't already. Even then, it's super loud. And no matter how the quality is of everyone on the call's microphones, I think this is, you know, really takes the audio, enhances it and makes it even much clearer for you to actually listen to. Now, one thing I'm a huge fan of is never having to worry about just getting my headset, putting that on, and especially if I have long meetings, having your headphones on you know, for long periods of time, it does start hurting your ears a little bit, can be a little bit uncomfortable. So just having a headset-free experience, just setting this up and not having to worry about putting anything on or just having separate speakers for your laptop to listen to music or play your content. This is like an all-in-one and that just sounds great. So on the topic of microphones, let's go ahead and test out the microphone with my audio going directly into this and see how great that sounds from multiple different distances. 
Okay, so now I've set up a Zoom call and I'm going to record myself with the audio coming directly from the microphone in the Space Max. So let's go ahead and see how great this sounds. So I'm going to start the recording and switch over the audio. Recording in progress. Now the audio you're hearing is directly coming from the Space Max and I'm quite close to it. If I bring this even a little bit closer, you guys can hear how clear this is, but obviously most people when you are in a meeting room, for example, might not be this close. So I'll be testing the distance in a second. But if I'm just working from home and the microphone via the Space Max is just on my desk here from this distance, I just wanted to showcase how clear this would sound. And if you are the person on the other end of the meeting, then this is how you would hear my voice. Now, of course, this does have four MEMS microphones, 360 degree rotation. So I'm going to continue speaking. But again, as with the speaker test, I'm going to twist this around whilst I'm still talking so that you guys can hear that my audio levels are not fading away as I turn this around and face the back of the space max and everything still comes out very clear. So essentially, it doesn't matter where you put it, it doesn't matter how far you walk around it, in which direction, everyone would still be able to hear you quite clearly on the call. Now you can see it does pop up with the red and green colors for the answer and end call as well. So if you have an application like Zoom or Teams set up and you're using this directly via the settings on there, the green answer call and the red end call light on the LED ring will also showcase. Like so. So it's quite a nice little indicator as well just to see what is actually happening with the speaker. And I quite like that. So now let's go ahead and test a little bit about the distance because I am fairly close to this. Okay, so as I'm standing up now, I'm going to start walking a little bit further away, maybe go up to about three meters so you guys can see and possibly hear how much of the audio starts to fade a little bit or how clear it can still pick it up. So as I'm moving further away, getting a little bit further, I'm about two meters right now from the speaker. Can you guys still hear me quite clearly? Is the audio quite broken? Do I need to be a lot closer? for anyone else in like a large meeting room to hear me clearly on the other end of the call. So let me go back even a little bit further and see how that sounds. Okay, so now I'm about three and a half meters away. Can you still hear me from this distance? And that is quite far. Most scenarios, maybe 95% plus, people won't be this far from a speakerphone like this in a very large meeting room. This is where cascading will really make a difference. So as I walk back towards the Space Max, you can see my audio levels are getting louder again and it's becoming a lot clearer. So one of the key things to help you as a workaround from being long distance is cascading. So let's go ahead and see how that works. Okay, so now let's cascade both of these using the 3.5 millimeter jack cascading cable. So I'll connect one end, just make sure that both of these Space Maxes are on. successful you heard that both of them gave the audio confirmation that cascade is successful so now you can go ahead and use this cable to hear back your calls on meetings and also use these as independent microphones now you can only cascade two devices with a single cable and this would allow everything to be heard by up to 12 people possibly even more depending on the size of your room and your meeting so i'm going to go ahead and split these out at a certain distance, the maximum distance that this cable can take you, which is around two meters. And then let's go ahead and see how it sounds as I move between both speakers. Okay, so now I'm standing quite close to the first Space Max speaker here. And you can hear that I'm pretty clear. As with my previous test, when I was walking away in the distance, you heard my audio fading a little bit just because of the distance I was from the actual microphone itself. Now I'm going to do the same thing again, walking away from that. But now I'm getting closer to the second Space Max speaker, which is over here, connected via the cascading cable. And you can see immediately with the audio when you are listening to this, that is carried on picking me up as clear as possible from either of the speakers. So if I'm standing right in the middle, you'll be able to hear very clearly being picked up from you know the different speakers in the room, in the meeting room. But as I'm closer to one, Everyone that's listening on the other end of the call will still be able to hear me quite clearly. And this is quite a nice setup as well. So if you have very large meeting rooms, you don't necessarily need to have just one for a little huddle room 
or just in your home. If you do go and take meetings in large boardrooms, for example, this is a very nice, quick and easy clean setup. All it is is just one cable connected to each other and the cascading connection is ready to go. So you can hear, as I even move around from different sides of the Space Max, everything is still coming out quite clearly. And if I'm as part of like a 12, 15 person large meeting, everyone is sitting all around different sizes of the table, no matter which direction they are, no matter how loud or how softly they're speaking, if you have a cascading setup, then this is actually going to be perfect for you. But I'd like to hear your thoughts down below as well on how you think the audio quality is and how easy the setup is and how great these speakers sound. And one of the final tests I also want to do with these speakers is also test the background noise isolation. Now you can see I've just brought my fan here and I've got it pretty much on the mid level. It's almost at its maximum. And I want to see how much of the wind noise can be picked up by the microphones because it's not that far away from the speaker to be honest and when on a hot day I do tend to have my fan on in the background if I have my headset on it very easily gets picked up in my audio so people on my calls usually say you know do I have my fan on because it's interfering with my audio so that's one thing I also want to test so let's go ahead and see how much of that is removed recording in progress now the audio is coming directly from the Space Max and I still have them in cascade mode. So as I'm facing towards my laptop, I have both the Space Maxes just on either side. But the fan, I've purposely directed it towards the Space Max, especially this one here. In normal mode, when I do have my headset on, this can very easily be picked up. But as you're probably hearing now, it's doing a very good job not trying to pick up any of the background fan noises. And the wind, usually when it's targeted at a microphone, it's very easy to pick up. And in this case, it's not doing that. And I'm quite impressed with that. And that's one thing I do look out for because now having these, I don't have to worry about having a fan on on those hot summer days in my background. Or even if you have like an air conditioning unit or anything else that does make a lot of noise, then you know and you can be confident that it won't interfere, if any, with your meeting calls. So that is a big plus for me. So that's my review of the Biodynamic Space Max. Let me know what you guys thought down below. I'm really impressed with this. Check out the link in the description. They come in around 400 euros. So although they do have quite a premium price tag, it's reflected on the premium quality of this. Just the speaker quality on its own. I'm actually considering now using both of these Space Maxes as not just my home hybrid working speakerphones, but also as my laptop speakers. So if I just want to watch content and play back some music from my laptop, I'm more than happy of the quality that I get in return by just having these as the primary setup. It prevents you from having separate speakers that you purchase for your laptop and then having a third speakerphone for your hybrid meetings or anything like that. This is kind of like the all-in-one solution and I can't really find any faults with that. So I'm very impressed with this. And there's also some other cool features. So you can actually turn on voice commands. You just hold down the multi-function button with the volume up button. You can play around with the LED ring lighting as well to turn this on in lighting mode, which will allow you to kind of bounce the lights on the ring with the music that you're playing back. So plenty of cool options that you can get with this, but I recommend everyone to you know take a look at the link in the description to find the full list of features, the detailed specifications, and as always the latest pricing information especially if you are considering buying this and if you are the person that does work from the office and work from home. This is a must have for you. So hopefully that was useful. Make sure to subscribe if you like really cool tech reviews like this gadget here and make sure to like this video and I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.